Hey there, welcome to Automotive Territory. The internal combustion engine has been perfected by engineers for more than two centuries, and frankly speaking, it is very close to reaching its peak potential and hitting the wall in terms of further development. However, there is a way to make improvements to an almost ideal IC powertrain, and that is by pairing it with a battery and an electric motor. This hybrid system ensures superior efficiency, instant torque, power boosts, and purely electric driving. In this episode, we'll be showing you top 10 hybrid supercar models which have benefited from symbiosis with electric motors the most and managed to show remarkable performance. But before we get to the lineup, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more interesting auto content. Enjoy the ride! ABT Audi RS6 E1000 ABT Sportsline specializes not only in classic tuning, they have a separate division that focuses on electric mobility. After collecting years of experience and know-how in the fields, they came up with a brand new project based on the already tuned ABT Audi RS6 with 735 horses and added another 300 on top of that. The resulting power yield of 1018 horsepower and 950 pound-feet of torque were achieved due to the addition of an electric motor connected to a relatively small 13.6 kWh battery. The peculiar nature of this upgrade is that the electric system is not being used all the time, but rather gives short-term boosts up to 20 on each charge that speed up 0 to 60 acceleration to 3.3 seconds and the top speed reaches 200 mph. The design of this supercar hints towards its electrified nature, as well as emanates aggression inherent to any ABT build. This is reflected in the comprehensive aerodynamics package, HR suspension, 21 inch aerodynamic rims, and reworked interior. Mercedes AMG Project One Project One is a plug in hybrid with a powertrain consisting of a race car engine, 1.6 liter turbocharged 90 degree V6 and a quartet of electric motors hooked up to a single high-performance battery. The combined power output of the setup is 1,034 horses and it will be controlled by an 8-speed sequential transmission. This Mercedes accelerates to 62 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds and even beats Bugatti Chiron to 124 mph with 6.5 seconds on the stopwatch. However, we have to admit that it still loses to Bugatti's Marvel in terms of top speed, getting only to 222 miles per hour. It is known that the word project in the final name will most likely be dropped and the actual name will be Mercedes AMG One. Though a concept at this stage, the promised 275 units that will be produced in 2018 have already been sold out for $2.7 million. Aria FXE Late 2018, the California-based aerospace equipment production company Aria Group presented its first super hybrid Aria FXE. The car is expected to be powered by a 6.2-liter supercharged V8 and two electric induction motors. The total output for the hybrid is 1,165 horsepower and 1,316 pound-feet of torque. The electric motors function using a 10 kWh lithium-ion battery. The manufacturer claims that Aria will get from 0 to 60 in only 3.1 seconds and will be able to gain 220 mph top speed. The model has a quality carbon fiber body and uses lightweight 3D printed metals and parts and as a result weighs only 3,450 pounds. Its price is still unclear, but we do know that production is scheduled to start early 2019. Polestar 1 This is the first supercar by Volvo's recently introduced separate performance division Polestar that was previously known for tweaking such models as V60 and S60. Though the car gets a new badge, it is not entirely original. In essence, this is a coupe version of the Volvo S90 sedan on steroids. The plug-in hybrid powertrain consists of three electric motors, two of which bring into motion rear wheels, and the third one serves as an integrated starter generator, while the 2.0-liter supercharged and turbocharged inline four-cylinder gasoline engine powers the front wheels. Combined power output is rated at 608 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. Polestar has three battery stacks with total capacity of 34 kWh, which are distributed to reach almost ideal 50-50 weight distribution. The all electric range reaches 94 miles on each charge, letting the supercar travel further than any other conventional plug-in hybrid of today. The rest of the performance package includes electronically controlled suspension, torque vectoring differential, and Akibano brakes. 
Ferrari LaFerrari Aperta The supercar came out in 2017 in a limited edition of 499 units. The auto became an instant hit between Ferrari enthusiasts due to its exclusivity and iconic design. The Aperta has a hybrid powertrain that is represented by a 6.3-liter V12 engine and high cars tri-phase high-voltage shellac quick motor unit for short bursts of power. The combined output of the setup reaches 950 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. Aperta hit 60 mph in 2.8 seconds and its top speed is ranked at 217 miles per hour. Priced at around 2 to 2.5 million dollars, this auto had been sold out long before hitting the market. In addition, one of the models, in particular number 210, was sold at the Sotheby's auction for astounding 10 million dollars. BMW i8 Though this BMW is not an exact match of a supercar definition, its superior handling, over-the-top price and comparative rarity still place it way above the affordable mass-market segment. The updated i8 comes in as a coupe and a roadster, bringing innovations in every aspect, improved battery technology with higher electric motor output, extremely lightweight and aerodynamic body, LED lighting and layered design. The powertrain output now equals to 145 horses and 374 horsepower combined with a gasoline engine. The all-electric range reaches 30 miles and overall MPG is claimed to be around 130 miles per gallon, which sounds somewhat unrealistic, but the manufacturer assures us to have tuned the powertrain for the minimum use of the engine, effectively reducing carbon emissions to 67 grams per mile. Thank you for sticking around until now. You must be interested in electrified supercars. So once you finish this video, make sure to check out our previous episodes about the fastest electric cars in the world or maybe some upcoming production models. Links in the description and the info cards above. Let's keep rolling! Porsche 918 Spider First introduced at the 2010 Geneva Motor Show, the 918 Spider went from concept to production in mere three years. The final hybrid supercar was truly remarkable. It had a narrow monocoque body, bold styling and, most importantly, agility and speed of an exemplary racer. Its main engine was a 4.6-liter V8 that delivered 608 horsepower. It was aided by two electric motors, one on the front and another one at the rear axle, that brought the total system output to 887 horses. Spider also did not lack acceleration. With 944 pound-feet of torque, it reached 16 pH in 2.6 seconds. The car even had 12 miles of all-electric range and, when using all engines, could develop a speed of 215 mph. Symbolically, only 918 vehicles were scheduled to be produced. And while the customers wanted more, Porsche chose to adhere to its original plan after the third wave of recalls was issued in 2015. TechRules Ren RS The Chinese company TechRules has presented the final production design of their hybrid supercar Ren RS. This modification abandoned the three-seater cabin in favor of the Le Mans-style single-seat cockpit design and still features the groundbreaking turbine recharging electric vehicle system. However, this time Ren does not require aviation fuel, but can use regular diesel. The principle of this powertrain is that the diesel-powered microturbine drives the generator that rapidly recharges a 28.4 kWh battery that in turn juices up two electric motors up front and another four at the rear. As a result, TR EV powertrain produces astounding 1,287 horsepower and 1,725 pound-feet of torque. Speed parameter is equal to 206 miles per hour top speed and 3 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration. TechRules Ren RS will go into serious production, but will remain a track-only supercar. Aston Martin Valkyrie The prototype developed by Aston Martin and Red Bull Advanced Technologies, codenamed AMRB001, was recently introduced to the world and received a name Valkyrie. It is a badass car with a badass price of $3,750,000 which makes it one of the world's most expensive hypercars. It is powered by a hybrid powertrain that consists of a 6.5-liter V12 coupled with some sort of electric motor by Rimac. Combined output will reach 1100 horses. As for the other dynamic specs, we only hear about the expected 250 miles per hour top speed, while the rest remains a mystery, but should definitely be mind-blowing. 
it has been confirmed that the production model of Valkyrie will hit the market in 2019. McLaren P1 One of the best hypercars of 2014, P1 was the first plug-in hybrid supercar in the world. It is an exclusive vehicle with a Monica carbon fiber body and butterfly doors. Only 375 units were produced and all of them were sold out between 2013 and 2015. The automobile utilizes Formula 1 technology and is based on the company's F1 sports car built some 20 years earlier. P1 is equipped with a 177 horsepower electric motor and a 727 horsepower twin turbo V8. When working in pair, this powertrain delivers 723 pound feet of torque, shooting the car to 16 mph in 2.7 seconds while achieving a smoother power delivery and acceleration. In 2015, a limited edition called McLaren P1 GTR was launched. It was 110 pounds lighter and 83 horsepower more capable. Only 40 cars were produced and most of them were sold to P1 owners. Ferrari FXX K Evoluzione This Ferrari is the next step in evolution of the track model FXXK that was introduced in 2014. It is a part of the special Ferrari XX program that involves owners of these cars driving on a track under the supervision of instructors. There is a widely popular myth that these cars have to be stored at the Ferrari factory between training sessions, but those are false and an owner can take or do whatever he pleases with his hypercar. In essence, this is a La Ferrari on steroids, due to the tight cooperation between two engineering divisions. The installed powertrain is a hybrid 6.3 liter V12 and high curse tri face with 1050 horses and 664 pound feet parameters. It is currently unknown how much the EVA will cost, but judging by the latest price of the base FXXK, it should exceed $3 million. So, do you believe in hybrid powertrains or should internal combustion engines be abandoned for good? Of course, it is a pity to see them go together with two centuries of breakthroughs associated with this technology, but progress is progress. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Do not think twice about watching other episodes from our channel and subscribe. May the torque be with you!